Hey everybody, it's Tamika. Welcome to a new series that I'm starting called Silhouette Sundries. And I think it's appropriate because it's just little things that I've learned or am showing you regarding the Silhouette cutting machine. And I wanted to share those with you. Um, I've done a couple of videos of how to or tutorials of using the Silhouette Cameo on some projects that I've made. I'll put those links in the description box and start like a little playlist. Um, but I get a lot of questions about how to, um, things that I think are um, super easy I can share or I have shared via text or uh, writing back a response. And some get it and some are still a little um, confused. So I thought, you know, I will just, um, once I stumble upon something that's easy that I can do a quick video on or a project that I've made, I've decided to dedicate it to Silhouette Sundry. So for those of you who have your cameo still in the box, please, please take it out. Take it out. Take it out. <sighs> okay, that's over. But <laughs> those of you who are just a little hesitant or you only use your Cameo for like basic cutting, um, it's a wonderful machine and I love it. And it can do a lot of things. So I think it'll be easy for you if you have your silhouette nearby and it's already ready to go because I know the process of sometimes cutting it is pulling it out, plugging it up, loading, you know, all that extra stuff. My silhouette is sitting right next to me, like it's boom, right there. So I know that I can just open up the program and cut. And it makes it easier and it makes me use it a lot more. And I barely use any of my dies. So um, with that being said, I received a text um, a few days ago about um, this lady wanting to make some table numbers for her daughter's wedding. And I fiddled around with it. I tried to text her the information of how to do it. She's like, um, no, I'm just going to go on eBay. But it's super easy. And if you already have the machine, use the machine. You all, you, If you need anything, it'll be the sketch pens. But there are tons of videos on um, alternative ways other than paying for the sketch pens, which, you know, um, are a great, um, they're a great thing to have in your arsenal anyway. But um, you could go to the Dollar Tree. I know there's markers that fit the little holes perfectly. So I may do a tutorial on that or you guys can just do some research on that. It's easy to find that. So it will cost you next to nothing and a dollar a seven from the Dollar Tree if you if you have a Dollar Tree near you to be able to make these. These are good for weddings or at any event that you're having or even a project if you just want to do a special little journaling card or something. So um, I figured I'd share that with you and um, There'll be more to come, so if you have any suggestions, again, please leave them below in the description box or send me an email. Uh, don't leave it in the description box. <laughs> leave a comment below, and the email will be in the description box. So this is the sample of what I created. Now, um, it is cut off um, a little bit offset um, because it was a last-minute thing, and I just said, well, let me just cut it out so I can show you what it looks like in its finished product but I didn't want to redo the whole thing so um, of course you want to make sure you listen to the directions in the video to make sure that this cut in this line is lined up so this is the sample and I use a yellow pen in the center you can't even see it I should use a different color but this is what the table number would look like and then you would in the video I show you how to put a little backing on the back of this so you can have everything all put out together in neat form and match coordinating with your event so hopefully this will help you lady who I hope is watching this video and um, anybody else. So I do have a couple other videos coming up with some easy things that you guys can do and I hope you enjoy them. I will see you guys next time. Here is the tutorial on how to make these wedding um, table number or event centerpieces. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is look for a shape. So whatever shape you're trying to obtain, head over to your library or the Silhouette store and pick it out. I'm going to put a list in the description box of all the shapes that I use for this particular project. And this one I'm using the nested artesian labels. And while it's highlighted I'm going to ungroup it because I'm only going to use one of the pieces. So um, because I think this is the closest shape that I could find to what the um, sample looks like. So I'm going to take this shape and then I'm going to highlight it and click the offset button and I'm going to make an internal offset. I want the internal offset to be adjusted to uh, 125 and I'm going to hit apply over here and that will um, give us this particular um, shape here and this outer line will be um, the cut line and then this will be that gold 
uh, or represent that gold line that's on the sample piece. Um, so if you have a gold sketch marker or a gold pen, then that's what you would use to outline that. All right, so um, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and find your leaf or the leaf pattern. And I found a really cute spring, uh, spring leaf that I thought worked appropriately in the Silhouette Store. All right, my computer is a tad slow, so there we go. And it's right here, Spring Leaf Vine. So I'm gonna double click that. That looked the closest to the image, in my opinion. You can also alter other leaf picks and put whatever you want to in there. So I'm just trying to get as close to the suggested sample as possible. So I'm gonna downsize these while they are grouped together. Remember to let the mouse go when you reach the desired measurement. All right, and then fit that in there. I'm gonna downsize it a little bit more. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna highlight that and I'm going to ungroup it. I just hit the right click, ungroup. And then this right one I'm actually going to delete because I'm gonna shape this um, piece using this uh, circle green arrow here to where I want it to go exactly so we're gonna just manipulate it a little bit and how and fit it how we want it to fit on the um, how we want it to fit on the paper so now that that's done I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna go to the replicate window up here and all I'm gonna do is mirror right that'll give us the same exact shape and how it fits on the other side I'm gonna move it a smidge let's see where I want to put it that looks great right there and then I'm going to highlight them both and group them together so that they move as one piece alright so we're done with that the next thing we want to do is go over to our fonts and you can pick whatever font you like for this obviously I'm going to use Ardilla and I'm going to click and I'm going to write table and then I'm also going to hit the enter button and write one that's done they they group them together so I'm just gonna ungroup them and then we're going to group table to be one unit just group the table here there we go and hit the right click and group it okay I'm going to center that where I want it and make it a little bit bigger like so okay take my number one put that where I want it and do the same thing and highlight it take this corner square and drag it out to where I want it to go and you can obviously put this where you want but this was kind of centered in the middle of that and I'm actually gonna make this table a smidge smaller ah I keep doing that okay I'm just gonna hit the back button here here we go So center that, you know, how you'd like it to be centered on your on your paper. That looks great. All right, so now it's time, once you have everything together, let's group it all together, the whole piece. Hit the group button. And now you can make it the size that you want to make it. So if you want it all to come out that size, you know, make sure you just get the dimensions that you want and just do it that way. For purposes of this video, I'm just going to make it a, a bit bigger than I normally would so we can see it a little better. Okay, so now you can ungroup that once you reach your desired size. Ungroup it. Alright, so for this next part, we're going to uh, play around with the cut. So this red means everything is set to be cut. Okay, so what I want to do is take this top piece here, this outer piece there, 
and we're going to select no cut because that's actually going to be physically cut out so once you hit no cut that line should appear less muted or not bolded like the other ones so what's left are the items that will be cut so if you're going to cut everything out in one sketch pen or one marker then you would leave this like it is so for the sample that um, I was given they had the gold um, like gold outline around it so if you have a gold pen or gold marker that's great I don't um, but if you do want to just make um, those different colors this is how you would do it so let's say you want your um, table the word table and these uh, leaf vines to be the same color so you would select um, the items that you don't want the ones you're going to change to a different color and you select no cut and then I'm going to select the outer line drawn and that's also going to be a no cut so you see the only things that are able to be cut are the words table and the shape of the spring leaf so if you like I said if you're doing everything the same color then just skip these next steps until we get to the next one so you want to go over to the cut settings and scroll down to silhouette sketch pen right there and you want to change your tool to whatever color sketch pen you're using so in here I would insert blue because that's what I'm gonna make the table and the leaf fine blue my silhouette is not plugged up um, but if it is you would see it start to uh, you know go to the next the next phase but you would hit send to silhouette and this next window will come up and it will bring up the you know busy signal on the side over here but mine's not connected because I've already done this <laughs> so um, now that that's done so let's go back to the cut window so now you keep your paper in your cameo don't take it out don't un unload it just leave it how it is so now we're going to mute the two that we just did so we're going to take off the cut lines on the, the leaf and also the word table now we want to make the number one a different color so in my sample I picked yellow so we're going to take the number one and we're going to hit cut that will highlight that and then we're going to still go back to our silhouette sketch pen which is already marked but this time we're going to take out the pen that we use for the other items and put in a new pen in this case like I said it's yellow and then we would send it to silhouette all right once that's done you come back you hi highlight your your number and then you select no cut because now we have to do the outside lines and this is like I said this is what I'm doing I've, I've done three different colors so we select this inner one here and then we select uh, not cut edge we select cut and then we change our sketch pen in this case I change mine to black and then we send it to silhouette okay we're done with the sketching if you used multi colors if not here we go for the next step if you kept the same colors for all of everything you kept all of this highlighted all you needed to do was um, mute this outline the one that's on the outside that's the only thing that should have been muted all this other stuff in here should have been highlighted bold that means the second layer the table the one and the spring mix all should have been in red and then you send it to the silhouette with your one color all right so now we're all even everything is all sketched out and then now we're going to mute the second one here the inner the one the offset that we did we're going to do no cut and we're going to highlight the outer one and we're going to click cut we're going to go back over to our cut settings and then go back to our regular uh, normal card stock uh, settings I use cover stock heavy right here you guys can see let's roll it down there we go I use that one and it'll you have to change your blade take out the sketch pen put in your ratchet blade and do your settings or just your settings how you normally would cut out cardstock and send it to the silhouette that should cut out this outer frame and then so you're done basically you have your table numbers so if you wanted to go one extra step and maybe make a backing for this you would just 
um, take this piece, this outer piece here, and then you would offset that. And then this time you would do an, a regular offset, just like so. Hit apply. So this is all your cut in your, your other file. So we would just line that back up and save it. So I'm going to highlight everything and then align center. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight it all and group it all together. Move it out of the way. Grab this other piece of your layering that uh, one you just made. And then you will simply just cut this out. That way you can have your base here all cut out and you can layer it on another color if you'd like to match the, um, you know, whatever ceremony or whatever event you're having. So hopefully that helps you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you have any ideas for Silhouette Sundries, please leave them below or you can send me an email. The link will be in the description box. And I will see you guys next time on Silhouette Sundries. Bye.